guys welcome or welcome back again to this channel if this is your first time of coming across this channel please kindly subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notification bell that's way whenever there is an upload in this channel you always be notified guys so guys how are you all doing i hope you all are doing fine thank god for life i thank god for my life also today i feel much better the last video i made i told you guys my voice is not sounding well because i have a flu and cold and cough also but i'm feeling much better today so guys in today's video i'll be discussing about motherhood children divorce and general topic and update as well so if this is what you're interested in watching please stay tuned why we dive into this guys it has really not been easy with motherhood as a mom of five it has not been easy at all especially for us that yes, is Laura. so guys uh me as a mom of five it has not been easy at all because my kids is only the little one who eats uh I just gave birth to last last year yes guys the other bigger ones they help me a lot and uh, after that they do usually go to school they have their tests they have their exams to do so most of the time i like to give them their space so that uh, they can study uh, while i do that it's not easy at all with the toddler i have in the house scattering the house and uh, uh, scattering the house and every other thing the dishes cleaning the house sweeping but uh, i still make out time especially in the morning when they go to school to do all those things uh, the ones that they cannot do because finding someone and uh, paying that one is very expensive to find someone another thing too is you don't know who you're going to find here and uh, the person is gonna take your things and run away or take your child with the rate of uh, crimes that is going on in the world now. Uh, there's one of my friends I know, uh, she found someone uh, that was staying in her house and she left just for her to go to work, to come back and this lady already took all her books, her jewelries, her money, including her international passport and ran away. So it's something that uh, is when I remember that thing, I get so scared of uh, finding someone in my house. Instead, what I do is uh, if I have vocation, I will look for someone I will pay for on that day. That person is going to come and uh, help me do uh, cleaning and uh, I pay the person. The person goes. It's also not easy with uh, going for shopping, uh, food stuffs, toiletries and uh, the, the needs in this house, in, the, in my house. <laughs> in my house, yes, guys. It's not easy because uh, most times it's really not easy because of my child, my baby, most times my children also, uh, they help me, my teenage children, they help me in going to the shops to buy some things. But here, um, uh, you know, as a Nigerian, when you want to shop for Nigerian foodstuffs, uh, the place you buy it is different. They want, when you want to uh, shop for toiletries, soap, tissues, nappies, uh, beverages, it's another place you also have to go and shop for it. When you want to go and buy uh, your your beef, chicken, you know, your dairies, all those things is another shop again, like three to four shops where you go and buy those things. It's really not easy. Uh, unlike uh, uh, maybe back home, you just go to the market, you know that, yes, you shop all those things in one market. But it's really not easy. You go here, you go here, you go here. Ha! Ah, is well. So guys, another one is... Uh, 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 my 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 young master, the little one eating. It has been difficult uh, feeding him. Uh, I breastfeed even up till now. I still breastfeed. I plan on breastfeeding him till one year. Yes, when he uh, clocks one year, then after that I'm going to stop. I'll watch him. Then I'll stop because he has not been uh, eating well. Eating well. I breastfeed him. I uh, he prefers um, my food the adult food than his baby food. Uh, I struggle to feed him like uh, his cereals. I struggle to feed him even a mashed food I prepare for him. I struggle to feed him this food. This baby will cry. He will spill it out. When he like, uh, I use a plate and spoon in feeding him. He's going to eat like uh, two or three spoons, the baby spoons, and he will 
totally refuse the next he will spill it out so this has been going on and going on going on i went to the hospital and uh, they are like uh he's not really adding up uh, the way he's supposed to add up like two or three times uh, i went there for checkup they said i should keep bringing him so they'll be checking his weight it was not adding up and um, i they finally gave me this they gave me this i was surprised of uh, getting this from the uh, our local clinic is called the Jikijela Instant uh, Maze Based Cereal for infants and young children. And this thing uh, is like a cereal, like a maize cereal, and it has a, a what is it called? Soya beans inside it. So they gave me two of it. So this one I poured it into a container. So uh, I have a, I have this, I have this custard which I give him uh, different varieties of food. Uh, this is his milk so far where it is now, which I use in mixing his food. This is also another uh, another cereal, also a different type. And this is the Jikijela uh, maize cereal which uh, they gave me. I also have a uh, butternut squash, uh, sweet potato and the uh, beef and egg also i also cook all this variety of foods for my son young master but uh, he keep refusing to eat them at a time i i got tired i don't know what to do i also have um i also have this medication for lactation mothers which i usually take every night because it, I do more of the breastfeeding at night. Also daytime, but it's usually more at a night. He eats, he wake up, he eats and sleep back. So uh, I later like, I, I don't know what to do. They even directed me to a dietitian for him. So I don't know. You know, when as a child, when you see your child not eating as how he's supposed to eat, it's so frustrating and so sad, you know. So later, ha, as God will do it, I decided to try on a feeding bottle because his water is in the feeding bottle. So I decided to start another method. Instead of using a plate and spoon to feed him, I decided to use a water bottle. So why I'm saying this is also a, if there is young mothers out there. So if this one is not working for you, you can as well try out this other one. So I started to use a, his feeding bottle. And when I make the food, I put it in the feeding bottle. And do you know, to my greatest surprise, he finishes everything. Hey! <laughs> he finishes everything. So I've been happy. And with that hand, I continued. It means that he doesn't like a spoon feeding. It's called spoon, spoon feeding. He doesn't like a spoon feeding. He prefers a sucking in the water bottle, his feeding bottle. So this is what I've been doing so far so good handling children is really not easy children are really something else if this is not working for you try and try another method it's really not easy guys so our next topic i'm going to be discussing is uh the video a uh, previous video i made about a uh, johnny deep and the uh, ember johnny deep who is a uh, uh, a Hollywood actor he has featured in so many movies but uh the popular uh, movie hmm, English <laughs> sorry guys the popular movie uh, which he's known for is um uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and as well as a uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory I'd like you guys to check out this uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is a very interesting movie especially for children my children love that movie especially the small ones they love the movie is interesting so Charlie is the lead uh, in that movie so I made a video about uh, Johnny Deep and uh, his wife which he married just for one year and uh, they started uh, having issues this one uh, accusing this one of a uh, uh, domestic violence yeah, this one the both of them so in a way they took it to the court and uh, the issue has been in court and finally the update is that uh, Johnny Deep won the lawsuit yes and he was paid a uh, 15 million US dollars oh that's a really big money guys so he was paid that uh, he said that the lady uh, they said that the lady lied about him uh, uh, treating him uh, um, domestic violence and also that um, she defamed him trying to 
uh, spoil his name so that uh, any brand he goes for will not take him, you know, that kind of thing. So I don't know, it's, it's both of them that knows what is really the truth. But the thing is that uh, the, the rate of uh, domestic violence in home these days is really too much. Uh, some time ago, I also made a video about uh, Osinachi Mwachuku, uh, in here. So uh, that video I made is also about uh, domestic violence. I also made a video about uh, where uh, the, uh, Macy Johnson and the uh, real worry Pekin. Uh, they say something about that. If when in a marriage, I believe that if it's not working, it's not working. Yes. In a situation whereby a, a woman is a uh, is ill treating a man or a man is he treating the woman and it's really getting out of hand you don't get peace you don't get joy they beat you on top of it everything they get hold of they they use it to ill treat you i don't think there is a way for a, a there is a reason for you to stay there and remember if children is involved you need to save up you need to keep saving every little dime you have you need to save because when you die there um when you die there like now osnach he have passed away the children are there you see so you don't need to kill yourself that you are in a marriage that is not working out because a lot of people are now too many divorced so i think that instead of dying it's better you both separate and go your different ways also in my video i made about just james just james and lily petals this is also issue a lot of people these days what is going on guys so if it's not working out make you parlay now yes that is the best thing instead of dying there we need to like find something we are doing anything you are doing do it with your best with your might save up because of tomorrow save for the rainy days and also save up so that most men they just want to like useless you not give you anything they don't even care about your feelings and every other thing so you use that opportunity and be saving that way whenever that you're not there you can do what use the money and start up something for yourself guys. being a mom is not easy it's not by our power nor our might it's by god almighty whatever you do in life always trust god always keep your hands clean so that a uh, karma is a bitch guys Always keep your hands clean so that as you pray, your prayer will just be going straight like that. Yes, guys. Uh, this is to appreciate all mothers in the diaspora who will be watching this video. Uh, thumbs up to you guys. Thumbs up. It's really not easy. Living abroad, not having a helper is really not easy with uh, most of us that has a lot of children. Yes, guys, I'm someone who loves children, so I love children a lot. So in as much as I have the number I have, I'm fine with it and I love them like that. Yes, guys. So, guys, this we have come to the end of this video. Uh, I would like you to leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this uh, video, the updates and uh, everything that has to do with uh, this video. Also, uh subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification bell that way whenever there is an upload in this channel you always be notified and also check out my other videos as well i appreciate you all i love you all and i hope to see you again in my next video stay blessed and bye